Hi everyone, it's Lisa with Ink and Inspirations and we're going to be making a home decor piece with the Beautiful World Bundle and um, some 4th of July colors. So I chose some paper from the Whale of a Good Time Designer Series paper and this is cut 3.5 by 6 and I used the Stitch Stars dies to cut a couple of dies that flourish there and then the Big Star and then the World Map dies from the bundle I used the globe that shows the North and South America for another embellishment. So now I'm using that you make the world a better place, but I want to take off the word you. So I'm going to just use Pacific Point, which is the color of designer paper, and I'm coloring the sentiment leaving off the word you. This is a great way to use a partial sentiment, and that's with our water-based stamp and write markers and this one is from the brights collection so now i'm going to center that over that star and and just stamp and there we go it says make the world a better place so now i use the cutout stars from this die to use around as embellishments on this project and so I'm taking my Clear Wink of Stella and coloring over them, giving them a little bit of shimmer so that they stand out a bit from that other star with the stamped sentiment. So there are five of these little stars after you cut that flourish. And then I'm going to take uh, some of our red rhinestones and I have misplaced my take your pick tool. So I'm just going to use, grab my uh, snips and use those and put a red rhinestone in the center of each one of those stars to add a little bit of color and bling to the project. Okay, so I have those ready and now I'm going to center that big star and that's the second to the largest star in that Stitch Star Shapes uh, collection and I'm using some liquid glue to adhere the star and then adhere one of the smaller stars with the rhinestone and then the Wink of Stella. And that shows up pretty good, even though it's white on white. So now I'm just going to use some liquid glue and scatter the remainder of the stars on this specific point piece. So I thought that designer paper made a really good background, even though it's an ocean themed designer paper, it's working perfectly for this project which I wanted to make something red, white, and blue. So I'm finishing up with just a dot of glue and scattering those stars. And then that's ready to go. Now we're going to make the frame for this project. So I'm starting with a piece of real red cardstock at eight and a half by 11, and it's going to make this frame. So we have quite a bit of scoring to do, but it's super simple. So on the eight and a half inch side, I'm going to score at one half inch one inch, one and a half inches, and two inches. And then over on the other side, I'm working backwards, but that's a six and a half, seven, seven and a half, eight inch score. So that's four lines there. On this side, it's one half inch, one inch, one and a half, and two. And then six and a half, seven, seven and a half, and eight. And if I have those wrong by what I'm saying, I'll have the correct measurements beneath uh, in the notes of this video. So what you do now is you burnish all of those score lines with your bone folder and give it a good crease. And we're going to be doing some cutting. And this is a really fun project. And you can make them, these frames in different sizes, but this is the size I wanted to do for this particular project. So again, I'm scoring all of these around, and I forgot that one score there. So now we're going to take our snips, and we're going to cut off the corners. So it's a four by four uh, little squares there we're cutting off. And so we're going to do that on each corner. So you just follow the score lines and cut up to that intersecting line there and it's gonna be ready to go for the next part. So now I'm gonna take one half inch and cut that off because I marked that with my scoring tool. So that's one half inch. And I need to measure up 
and I'm looking for a pin here so I can mark it, but I'm going to measure up on two of those score lines up to the second score line and mark it over at one half inch. We're going to do some trimming there and do that on two opposite sides and I like to do the smaller tabbed side. So remember only on two sides and pick this little side. I think it'll be easier for you to work with. So now I'm going to cut off up to that line, then cut across and angle that third score line uh, strip. So cut up and then angle it, and the same on this side too. And one more time, and there we go. Okay, we can get all those little pieces out of the way, and now we're going to put our frame together. Now, what you'll need for this is sticky strip, not sticky strip, tear and tape. Um, the, you could also probably use the Stamp and Seal Plus, but I like using the tear and tape because I don't have to worry about one side sticking to another or something else until I'm ready for it too. So having that paper backing on it is really a plus for these types of projects. So I gave it a good burnish with the uh, bone folder and it helps it peel off that paper backing. Now before you put it together, this is where you're going to adhere and center that top to bottom and side to side, and you would glue that on. I'm not doing that for this particular one because this is going in the mail to someone, but I just want to show you. Okay, so that one strip of uh, tear and tape is there, and you just roll it in, press it down, and then pop it back up, okay? Then let's do this other long side, and you want that that strip of tear and tape is going to be on the bottom and adhere to the base of the frame. Press it down, pull it back up, and then you end up with two little tubes, square tubes there. So now for these ends, you do it a little bit differently. That little angle on each side needs a little bit of liquid glue. Not too much, just a little bit, and that's going to help make these corners a little neater. So you're going to roll that in, stick that tear and tape down and then hold those corners a minute with the, where that glue is to give it a good hold and a nice finish. Let's do this again on this side. A little bit of liquid glue on both of those angled pieces that we cut and then we're just going to roll it down, put that tear and tape on the bottom and close up that side. And then you're going to press it down and then hold those corners just for a bit so it has a good stick. Okay, so you can see you have a nice frame there, and of course that will already be inside and fit just right. I'm not going to force it in. And then I'm going to take this flourish and with glue attach that and the little globe, and there you have your finished project, Home Decor, Make the World a Better Place. Okay, I hope you'll give that a try. If you have any questions, let me know. Visit my website at inkandinspirations.com for more ideas, and I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.